Our next speaker is Catherine Henley, and her title of her speech is Speaking Pig for Pain Relief. Today I'm going to tell you the story about how I learned to speak pig in order to help people living in pain. This story begins nine years ago, when my dad fell off of a ladder when he was cleaning the gutters on our house. The fall left him with a spinal cord injury, and he was paralyzed from the shoulders down. This meant that he couldn't feel something like me holding his hand. But one thing he did feel every day was pain. The pain medications available to him either didn't work, were highly addictive, or left him in a hazy state of mind. I want to develop better pain medications for people suffering from lifelong pain after injuries like my dad's. In order to do this, I needed to draw some inspiration from Charlotte the Spider here behind me from my favorite childhood book, Charlotte's Web, and learn how to communicate with pigs. Pain medications are typically developed in rodents, but unlike these smaller animals, pigs have nervous systems that are much more similar to our own, and they process pain in very similar ways. So pain medication that works for a pig is highly likely to work for us humans as well. But how do we know when pain medications are working for animals? When we're developing them, how do we know if the pig is still in pain or if it's working and he feels terrific? I don't have a spider to translate pig thoughts for me, but we do need to be able to accurately measure pain in animals if we're ever to achieve safe and effective pain relief after injuries for people. My research focuses on developing two ways to assess pain in pigs using the science of animal communication. Animals will communicate when they're in pain because this ultimately benefits them and it promotes the survival of their species. They do this in ways that are actually very similar to the ways we communicate when we're in pain. When we're in pain, our eyes narrow, our nose wrinkles, and our upper lip raises. This is called a grimace, and other animals, including pigs, grimace also. I've found changes in the pig's ears, eyes, and snout, and I'm developing a scale to measure these changes, so I can tell if a pig is in pain or not by observing its grimace. We humans will also use our voices to communicate when we're in pain to others. We all know pigs oink. I've learned that they also squeal, yelp, snort, grunt, bark, and whine. By recording these vocalizations and uploading them to sound analysis software that analyzes different components of the sounds, I can tell if the pig is in pain or if he's just hungry. So by measuring changes in the pig's face and in their vocalizations, I can determine if a pain medication is working or if we need to go back and make improvements to it first before advancing it to give it to people. These measures will not only help veterinarians and farmers take better care of pigs, but also help develop better pain medications so people like my dad can live pain-free. Thank you.